Okay guys, I don't know about y'all, but I love these spiral reviews. I think they're kind of, um, even kind of fun. So um, let's look at this together. I'll probably do a couple more with you just so that you get the hang of these. And then I'll stop and let it be more like um, your, math, your math morning work, just a spiral review you'll do every day. Okay, syllabication. We are going to divide each word into the correct syllable. Now, we've talked about this. When you divide a word, you're going to typically divide it between two consonants. You know your vowels are A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. So when we divide a word into syllables, we're going to try to find where you have two consonants. So we have cattle. We're going to say C, A, T, and then divide it between the T's. T-L-E, so cattle, that's how you divide that. And then signal, S-I-G, and then N-A-L, signal. So we're dividing between your consonants, between your consonants. Okay, window, where are my two consonants together there? Yes, your N and D. So win, W-I-N, do, D-O-W. And then frantic, where are you going to divide there? Fran-tic. So F-R-A-N and then T-I-C. Frantic. Okay, here it just wants you to write um, your sight words in here. I can tell that small is going to go there because I see my two big blanks. I can tell show is going to go here, S-H-O-W, because we have a big box here. Want will go here, and come will go here, because we have all letters that would stay under that middle dotted line. So it just wants you to write these um, sight words, and you need to be pretty sure how to spell those. Future tense, so we know past tense is something that happened yesterday. Present tense is something that is happening now, like Miss Allison is teaching today. I taught yesterday. Tomorrow I will teach, okay? So future is what will happen tomorrow or after. We'll, tomorrow I will teach. So yesterday I wrote, in the future I what? Will write, good. Will Right. Okay. Will right. I swam yesterday. In the future, I what? Will swim. Very good. Will swim. Okay. I planned yesterday. In the future, tomorrow, I what? Will plan. Okay. Will plan. So do you see you put, I put will in front of all of the verbs here. I will write, I will swim tomorrow, I will plan tomorrow. So future is something that has not yet happened, okay? Present is something happening now and past is something that happened yesterday or before, okay? We are adding ER and EST suffixes to complete the chart. Okay, my root word here is going to be what? Funny. F-U-N-N-Y. If I add ER to funny, I have to change the Y to what? An I. Remember, we change the Y to an I and add the ER, right? So we're going to say funnier, F-U-N-N-I-E-R. Remember, we change the Y to an I. Here they change the Y to an I and add the EST. Uh, my root word's going to be what? Tall, tall, taller, tallest, T-A-L-L-E-S-T. -L -L Here we have quiet. Quieter, Q-U-I-E-T-E-R, quieter, 
quietest. Q U I E T E S T. Quietest. I am quieter than my sister. I am the quietest in my house. But y'all know that's not true, don't you? I'm not very quiet, am I? Okay, so adding ER and EST. So you typically add ER when you're comparing, remember, two things, like I am quieter than my sister, and you add EST when you are comparing more than two. So there are five family members in my house, and I'm the quietest, okay? So I am taller than Macaulay. I am the tallest girl in my family, okay? That's comparing more than two. I am funnier than Rivers. I am the funniest girl in my family. So EST, when you're comparing three or more,